Hello everyone, my name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Flight Club. And today, our matchup is the Grand Republic versus the Resistance. If you're not familiar with Flight Club, during Flight Club we have different list building challenges that we give the players. And today is Hyperspace plus a little bit more. So if you're not familiar, Hyperspace is a specific building format that uh, only allows a certain number of upgrades and pilots in to the game to be played so there's a list you can actually check on ffg's website also other all the other squad builders have it out there in addition to that i added an extra twist players may only bring one ship of each ship okay so they can't have multiple a wings they can't have multiple arc 170s only one of each i will tell you that there is a faction that i made an exception for but that's not this it's not uh on here and the purpose for that is to get some more exploration of different hyperspace content especially with the uh, musafar hyperspace qualifier coming up and uh, people getting a little bit more interested in hyperspace but uh, we'll talk more about that in a little bit my co-host for today is Fun walk. Hello and servus from Germany. It's super exciting today because we have lots of hyperspace. And I think most people actually don't have seen hyperspace for a while, right? Like every yeah. big tournament was extended. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, the, the hyperspace is starting to come back in popularity. I feel like it kind of ebbs and flows. It goes back and forth. But uh, mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next couple months uh, as we approach Coruscant. Now, uh, I do want to tell everybody watching that our sponsor for today's flight club is Quat Print Yards. Awesome 3D printed designs. Use that coupon code flight club 2020 for 10 percent off and we're going to show off some of their uh their awesome designs i actually really like their dial covers it is my favorite thing on their shop they got all kinds of stuff they got tokens and everything but these dial covers they they are the claim to fame for them for sure and uh, we'll show some of them off and we're even we're even going to give one away today during our second match so super excited about that now we're going to open up the choose your champion polls you see the, the players are starting to jockey for some position fun wise who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? Who is your champion? My champion is Brian for sure. Like, he's one of the OG X-Wing names. Like, one of my resistance idols. And I know Sammy on the right side, he's very successful recently. He's one of our Hexide Gaming players. And he got into the cut of Deathomir, for example. But his success made him a little bit insufferable. So I have to root against him knock him down a little bit <laughs> <laughs> awesome so right now um let's go ahead and break down the lists all right so on the left side bryant got res not resistance republic assigned from you mm -hmm. this is interesting because he brought the y-wing anakin y-wing which is a pretty strong y-wing with three force points and proton torpedoes and then we have instinctive aim so he doesn't even need the target lock to shoot the torpedo as escort, we have Wolfie on the arc, one of the strongest arc. We have Rick Olay with R2 for the region. And as uh, last piece, we have the Blue Scratch and Protector getting down in points after the update with Dedicated. This is like a nice jousty list with Rick Olay as a uh, pocket ace, and I like it. Awesome. So, yeah, looking looking at this, let's have a moment and talk a little bit about Instinctive Aim Proton Torpedo. So, if anybody isn't familiar with that, that card reads, while you perform a special attack, you may spend one force to ignore the focus or target lock requirement. So, that means that Anakin's going to essentially be firing Proton Torpedoes with, uh, with only two force available. Um, that still can be pretty effective. You are leaning a little bit on variance, but uh, you can't forget that Anakin is also initiative six. So there's a good chance he just ends up getting getting that target lock to set up that anyway. Yeah, that's true. On the right side, we have Sammy with uh, resistance, actually. And I know Sammy, he's flying mostly Empire, actually. And I didn't see him flying resistance for a while. Like, he was trying five A-Wings at the beginning of the year. But then he switched to Imperial Aces, and he did super well with them. And I think this is the first time in since forever that he's bringing back like X wings and the transport pod and a firewall. So quite exciting. Yeah, there's definitely some interesting uh, pilot choices here. Let's take. You know what? I absolutely love, absolutely love 
Kara Kuhn or Kara Kuhn, I believe is Kara is the way it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is the original Blue Ace ability. While you boost, you may perform a one hard. Uh, you may use the one hard template instead. Um, absolutely amazing. I'm hoping that we see the the blue ace boost i want to see it and i want to see it used to good effect i know one of the issues of course is uh is the initiative four i believe is what she is initiative four yes so um there's gonna have to be some definitely definitely choice reasons to actually take the boost especially with having anakin um anakin rick and then also tied with initiative for wolf and first player uh i think the the token is on brian's side so he's flying first with us initiative four Mm hmm So then is a way actually like like for Karakun to do the daredevil boost we all like and love. I believe it's I a bit believe in you. Sad though because it's 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 not um linked action, right? No nope, so no linked actions. Only the daredevil boost, which is it's okay. It's like you can get into strange positions with it, but then you have no tokens and that's always a little bit sad. Like looking at the Thai Barons, for example, who can do everything pretty much with Daredevil. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> You're you you as a person. Like, I am jealous of yeah. that ship. <laughs> yeah, look, look at them! Like all oh, the moves are blue, and they can do every single action. Huh? Like, oh, come on! <laughs> but alright, like Net Assist, also super strong. Like Karakun, super super fun. Like I don't think we saw Karakun on stream, like. F uh, it's the beginning of second edition, I guess. <laughs> uh, there, there's been Kumanel. one or two other people who have like tried it, but uh, we haven't seen okay. her be successful yet. <laughs> That's yeah, what okay. we're looking for. We're look we're looking for uh, for Karakun's first win. Yeah, that would be quite nice. But I think Karakun's wingman here, Kovanel, Cass, and Korea, some of the best resistance ships actually. So I like Neta's chances here. He yep. got like a quite a decent list. He brought all the initiative fours. Of course, you have the um, the flexibility to mm -hmm. move around a little bit. Um, if you're in a jam, you can have your do some shenanigans there, do some tactical bumping. We'll see how he uses the um, the tied initiative of his list to his advantage. Mm -hmm. Right now, coming out of the clouds, um, looks like we're, we're going to get a little jousty joust through the clouds with a Kaz flank. It's quite interesting that both players took gas clouds as obstacles. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not a big fan of gas clouds because like they're so strong. Like the free evade, if you can't hide behind them, so annoying. So actually, I love like big obstacles more. Like you have to fly around the obstacles, you cannot land on them. There's consequences, real consequences. So hmm, quite interesting that both players decided to use the easy way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting our first attack here. This is uh, Anakin. Taking that shot. It's a proton torpedo. Ooh, whoa, one, two, three. No focus modifier needed. Three crits. And got two of eight. Only a shield. Not bad for a proton torpedo. Yes. We'll see who's up next. Right. I believe it is Rick. Yeah, Rick Ole. Best name in X-Wing. And he went pretty quick. So he will have his three dice. Oof. Three blanks, though. Spends a target lock. Just going to be one. Oh, Kara should be is... able to get out of this, and she's fine. She's fine. Only taking a single damage in that engagement. That's a win. That's a super win. Like <laughs> That Proton Torpedo was like, oh, I'm not liking it today. We'll see where Karakun chooses to go. Either Wolf... Uh, excuse me, uh, either Anakin or Rick. I'm guessing she probably goes into Anakin as he only has one agility, yeah. an extra plus for uh, for range three. Here we go. Yeah. And the and most expensive just one. Yeah, wow, exactly. Most dice today. <laughs> and that's one. By the way, the crit getting turned down there to a hit because of the Y Wing's plated hull. Mm hmm. Greer check, but of course, a little bit too far out. So is the V19. And uh, in that first engagement, it looks like they were fighting with some wet, wet noodles. <laughs> all right. I think they're both, like, good friends, you know? Like, you don't want to get go all in in the first engagement yet. <laughs> you want to entertain the people a bit. So just one shield on the X-Wing. It's all right. Like, X-Wings have plenty of shields. No worries about that. 
the positioning is now interesting because Wilfield has like pretty much only one move to do, like the hard turn to get yep. back into the fight. The nah, blue squadron protector actually, he wants to go f fast and trying to block maybe, but I think it's just way too far away, right? Yeah, it's it's not going to be able to get there, especially, I mean, it wants to barrel roll, right? So it might do something like a yeah. two-bank barrel roll. And as long as mm -hmm. Kara didn't didn't go super fast, should be able to uh, to avoid the block. I mean, one forward keeps you absolutely safe and yeah, keeps plenty of things in your arc. One forward to victory. <laughs> yep, and we can't forget about Kova. Kova's right there, too, so... Mm -hmm. Um, Kova hoping to get an arc on. Twitchy 5x5, thank you so much for your sub. There was somebody else earlier where I missed you. I'm sorry. I love you. Know that. <laughs> All righty. All love today. No mm -hmm. hate. Every no day. first order. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, like the matchups today, like insane. You know? like I was looking at the Discord, and the next game is going to be Alex Farley. Uh -huh. Yes, again. Uh, who was it? Empire Palpatine, whoever that is. Uh, that's oh, Mitchell, Mitchell Rob. Mitchell Rob. Oh, wow. This is mm -hmm. like like a, two uh, cut players from Worlds last year. Yep. And for game three, we have Brandon from Australia. And Australian players, always great, always fun. And Niels Voss, he's like the grand champion of the Netherlands from last year. So this lineup for today on God's Kratom Podcast. Wow. This is, this is an ace day. This is ace mm -hmm. day. So uh, excited to see what these aces bring to the table and what shenanigans we see. All right, so we got Greer taking that two-turn focus. Are we going to boost in the range one? Are we going to choose extra violence or stay safe? No, we're staying safe. I like it. One mm -hmm. forward, just like we suspected there on Carcoon, taking the focus. Kova, where are you going? Casual. One bank to the left. That does mean that Kova will not have the additional die because that was not a red maneuver mm -hmm. but this makes uh things a bit interesting for kazadur right now because leia is now active for kova if he wants to use it yep so he'll have that modifier at least there mm -hmm. looking for options maybe thinking about coordinating right now because we haven't seen an action yep. yet yes he is. He is. there is the coordinate taking it to Karakun. we're getting the target lock i'm assuming Oh, we could do the purple coordinate actually, and he does. Like yes. he doesn't want to be stressed. Yeah, there's Leia, no reason. The crew card adding purple coordinate onto the uh, action bar. And what's the plan here? I see we're reaching for target lock. There's a debate mm -hmm. on what he wants to do. I mean, the time is like, now. Much he to tr 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 go ahead. Go ahead. It's not much he can do, right? It's only the boost and the target lock. And yep. He's Sammy? going for the boost. He's trying to get mm -hmm. a block here. I like it. I like I really it. Like it. Mm -hmm. A little bit sad that Kara Kuhn's first boost is not a, not a daredevil boost. But <laughs> you know what? You can't get everything. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, and Rick Ole. Dodging Jumps that over. block. Look at those moves. Look at those that hips. <laughs> that probably means that Anakin should be able to slot in nicely right there. Has plenty of space to complete a one, two. Mm, yeah. That's probably it. Uh, one, two speed straight maneuver. All right. Rick is is uh, is going to get shot from a couple ships, though. So has to make a decision. Probably wants to mm -hmm. barrel roll. Yeah. Because he's got he nowhere to go. To stand in front of that gas cloud. And he's fully in the kill box from Netta here, from Sami. Mm-hmm. So he's getting away from Kova, but Kova is the only ship without any mods, so he's getting closer to the Blue Scratch Protector and to Greer. Oof. All right, one forward coming from Anakin. Honestly, that's a better spot. R range one for Kara. She likes that because that means no proton mm -hmm. torpedo comes in, only three die shot. And here we go. All right. Anakin, target range lock. one. Yes, target lock. Got two. Will he choose to spend it? Yes. And gets nothing. Two hits. Two eyes. He's going to go ahead and spend it. No reason to take damage right now. You have a pretty high probability of pushing through that single agility on Anakin. Next ship, we got Rick. Three versus three. Mm-hmm. 
Actually, four and across range four. one, and Rick yeah. Lee was moving fast. Right. Oh, Brian. Got all four of them. Here comes the three agility, and only one. Is it a wow. blank? It is confirmed it is a blank. And that's going to be half points right away, or half points in a little bit, excuse me, on the uh, on the A-Wing. I'm getting so excited, I'm forgetting to do the stats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, there we go. But that roll right there, come on. Four dice netties. Love to see it. All right, Wolf coming in range two into Kaz. Mm -hmm. Kaz does have a focus available for defense if need be. Yep. Got and two. the reroll from its ability, actually. Mm hmm. Finally, Ooh. a good reroll. Three hits and Nettie's wow. out. Again, that additional die coming from Kaz's ability. Um, when defending, he can roll a die if the enemy's initiative is higher uh, than the number of damage cards that Kaz has. And Kaz has yep. only one. Yeah. So with the fireball, he took a damage card. I think it was Halbreach in the beginning. Mm. And he repaired it with R4. So good trick here. All right. That's full blank out for Karakun. Mm-hmm. That's not feel that does not feel good going into Anakin. Looking for the next shot. There we go. That's better. Spends a focus. Two hits and a crit going mm -hmm. into Rick. Rick does have three. Taking two. And that is a crit. But he's got two shields. So Yeah. One away safe. from half. Kinda safe. That was one shield. That was like one evade and one evade token. Oh, he had, he had the evade token. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Missed it. Yeah. From the Naboo fighter ability and last shots here from Kova. One hit. For the Can resistance. He... He's got it. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Easy. Oh, Kess is all. Yeah. Kess mm -hmm. was missing gonna... for the shooting. He's going to go into Anakin. I'm a little bit surprised at the shot just because the gas cloud is there. Two hits. Mm-hmm. Gas Cloud and Force. Easy mm -hmm. dodge. <laughs> Just roll natties. Don't even worry about the extra effects. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, I think... I wonder if he would have considered going at the V19 just to see if he could strip the focus from yeah. uh, from the shot going in the Karakun, but let bygones be bygones. Hit crit. And oh, Natty's Karakun. Out. I, yeah. Turns out Lots she of is the blue ace. in this game. I'm not sure about this dice box video. I'm like, <laughs> skeptical. A little bit skeptical. Hey, listen. I I I train the <laughs> dice. I talk about it all the time. I train them for entertainment. That's what that's what we're here <laughs> for. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, makes sense. This makes sense actually. That's right. Theater school. The theater school of dice. Nah. <laughs> you want to see those big hits and those big evade dice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but alright, so uh, with all those natties, this was a big win here for Bryant. Getting Greer down to one half. <clears throat> now, looking at so, our, our mm -hmm. wagers, we had 71% of the field bet on Bryant. So that's a pretty heavy wow. favorite uh, from those who uh, who paid paid out some bets. So we'll see if Sammy can, uh, you know, subvert expectations here. Uh, right now, looking at the positioning, it looks like uh, I mean I think Sammy's going to still have a couple of turns of, of good shots. Greer is going to get to be an A wing and do what he does, shoot out the back. Yeah. Kova has plenty yeah. of room. I mean, what yeah, do you think is going to happen? Here? Rust. Yeah, Kova's gonna go and either stop or reverse, even. Pretty safe. Mm, Karakun's doing the 4k, like, shouldn't be a surprise there. Like, I don't think Neta is, or Sami is doing something uh, special here. He just can do the very obvious stuff and then just shoot into the Republic ships. Sometimes the very obvious stuff is the best stuff. You can very, you can very easily end up going down a rabbit mm -hmm. hole in your mind of, of like some like, oh man, I can do this magical combination. Like, stop, stop, just do, yeah. just do the good thing. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's like the, the most obvious answer is also the best answer. Just <laughs> shoot at the enemy, just kill the ships, be happy, have a good day. 
All right, here we go. Two straight threads the needle there in between the ship, ready to take on Covenel. Wolf taking advantage of that back arc. Remember, mm -hmm. the charge is currently turned down, which means he'll have the additional die uh, to mm -hmm. be added out the back, basically making it the same as that primary gun. Yeah, not a bad move, but that means that Wolfie in the next turns have to turn around from that corner, which takes a little bit of time. Absolutely. So he may get one good shot right now, but after that he's like uh, away from the fight for at least like two rounds, I guess. Yep, yeah, he's going to probably have to K-turn. Hopefully the mm -hmm. K-turn fits. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll find that out in a little bit. I'm I not sure about that. Ooh, medium bases. One, Quite two, no. strange. I don't actually think it fits. <laughs> he's gonna yeah. have to go. He's gonna have to go the long yeah. way around, and that mm -hmm. we'll see if Sammy can use that to his advantage. Here's the five straight from Greer. Like we said, A wings being A wings turns the arc to the back. That's free using Greer's ability. Takes a focus. I wonder mm -hmm. if we get a stress. Nope. Gonna try to see if we can get a block on the Anakin, and mm -hmm. uh, just kind of chilling forward for one straight with Kaz. Same thing. Kovano staying still using the force ability, taking the stress. Wait, taking a stress. He shouldn't be stressed. Right. If he's using the fort, what did he do, Netta? I, I think Sammy? I think that's that's just a, a one a one thirty brain over there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stress question mark. On. Sammy, what did you do with your force token? Oh, so, what was the what was the action? I think it was a coordinate, maybe. To yeah. Oh, did he coordinate jump. into into Karakun, maybe? He sure Something did. He is... used it on Kara. Got it. Ah, he Down. used the, the yeah. force poke on Karakun for the um, action. Mm -hmm. And not getting stressed for the ten roll. Yep. Got it. Got it. All right. So, Ricolay disengaging. Anakin actually getting bumped here by Greer. Just by a hair. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Kaz licking his lips. Opportunity here. Mind you, Anakin does have the force, so... Mm -hmm. Here we go. Three this dice using his ability, and that's mm -hmm. one, two, three hits coming in. This was a shot from Wolfie, actually. Wolfie into Kaz. Oh, sorry about that. Missed. Mm -hmm. Because... What? Hmm. I think Anakin has no shot here, right? Or did he miss the shot? I think he missed it. All right, here we go. And right. We're fine. We're fine here. Still recovering <laughs> from missing the coordinate. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kova now taking a shot into uh, into Anakin. Oh, Not no a... results. Greer, range one. Sammy looking for an opportunity to do some damage here. Wow. Spends That's the focus. Three hits. three hits. He's gonna get at least one. No, oh. he'll get three. Thank you very much. Like this is nice, but still it's you're shooting into a torrent. The cheapest ship on the board. <laughs> Feels a little yeah. bit iffy. <laughs> at least he's I mean, got it's points, right? Points? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least some points, like fourteen. It's okay. It's alright. <laughs> All right, Karakun also going into that blue squadron protector. Could spend the focus for three, just trying to get it off the board. Get something. And is going to get it. Two still get through. There was only two left there. Blue squadron protector is gone. Mm -hmm. So one blocker down. But that means that Anakin is still very happy in his Y-Wing there. All right, here comes Interesting Cass. choice here from Sammy. Doubling down. He's going to spend the focus. There's three hits. One agility for the Y-Wing. Mm -hmm. Taking two shields. Mm -hmm. yeah, that block on the Y-Wing was massive. Denying poor Anakin his action. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know what, though? I think maneuver-wise, it actually will help in this following turn. Mostly mm -hmm. because now uh, Kova isn't 
far enough away. I guess maybe with Leia you could be. With, with But with what Kova usually likes to do, Kova... Uh, Anakin has plenty of space to get in there. There's no blocking. Kova probably just stops again. That's pretty mm-hmm. standard procedures. Um, or doesn't, uh, because one of the threats that is coming is you have Rick coming around yep. that bottom side, and mm-hmm. uh, you're going to get a little pince, pincer, pincer maneuver from Anakin and Rick uh, mm-hmm. into Kova. But this looks very good here right now for Asami. Like he, Woofy, like we talked earlier on, he has to take the long way, the long, long way. And you basically only have Anakin and Rick Olay in the fight right now against all the resistance ships. For anybody joining and us... All the resistance ships. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I was going to remind anybody who's joining us, we have three games today for Fly Club every Saturday. And, uh, yeah, super, super excited to be here. If you want to be a part of the Fly Club, get called up for one of these list building challenge days. Just type exclamation point Flight Club in the chat, and you can have your very own spotlight game where I give you some weird... Weird stuff to do. Huh. We've had a lot. We've had a lot of a lot of different things. And oh, by the way, I did say I would announce something today. I talked about it last week. Um, let me tell you something that's in the works. Okay, people have been asking for a while for some type of Gold Squadron League play. Some type of Gold Squadron League play. So um, right now, I'm working on the. the the reaction to this because one of the problems uh, we have a naming convention problem right now because Wednesday is called Gold Squadron X-Wing League but the league we're going to have is actually not going to be called the Gold Squadron X-Wing League it's going to be called the Gold <laughs> Squadron Flight Club <laughs> okay so um, all right yeah so so right now right now we, we got some some naming things but here's the idea okay here's the idea the um, the 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 goal is going to be a certain number of matches that you will play with a prescribed set of list building challenges built into them. They will mirror essentially what we have done here on the show. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. similar to how we do it on the show. Uh, by the way, here we go to bank. That clears the stress. You will be playing against people at the level at which you choose like whatever level you are comfortable with we're also possibly debating um we're also possibly debating doing a a season zero to kind of confirm people's placement but right now um the the current plan is to go with uh with essentially the system we have is let people place themselves where they feel they are comfortable and we'll Mm -hmm. go from there uh there there is some really cool prize stuff that i'm not quite ready to announce because i'm waiting on confirmation on a couple things uh and how that'll go additionally there's actually going to be uh if you want the prizes you can pay to be in it but if you just want to play it could be absolutely free for you as well. So nice. uh, I know some people were looking for for a free option. They might not care about the prizes or the swiggity swag. That's fine. You don't have to. Uh, we can get as many people to participate as possible. That'd be great. More information to come. I'm hoping to have registration open for that. Um, like a, around Coruscant is the plan. Mm-hmm. So uh, again, looking for it. Looking Pretty forward st- to it. Pretty sweet. And I heard from my sources that the prizes will be super sweet too. Oh yes, there are. Right, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's kill box. But where yeah, is Anakin going to be in the box though? <laughs> oh, look at the aggressiveness wow, here. Uh, this is loop. super. Sad. We never see those, but uh, we do mm-hmm. get Greer does get the opportunity to do that spin around. We saw Kova coordinate. Yeah, that was a red coordinate this time, I think. I see a stress token. Oh no, the purple coordinate. Uh, oh, all right. Here we go. Um, mm-hmm. Anakin, K turning, sensing the danger. And even though he's going to take a strain here, still gets the obstruction and the ability yeah. uh, from the cloud. So, not too bad. Yeah. Not too shabby. Like, he loves the cloud now with all the shots incoming. Mm hmm. All right, so as we see, uh, Wolf too far away to do anything. Mm-hmm. Rick cleaning up the target lock there. Pretty Anakin. nice move here from 
Brian should get away from the dice box. Well, not the dice box, from the kill box, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. It is it is the dice box. <laughs> yeah. Get in the box. That's pretty much the, the big dice box range one. That was quite dangerous for anything but Brian. He saw that. He called it. Very neat. All right. I'm guessing he's probably going to go range one into Kova. Yep. Gives yeah. him the best opportunity to do damage. Three dice coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, has, the force, has the force available if he really wants to. Probably doesn't on one. Oh, no. Oh, he's he choosing does. violence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Kova. Oh, no. Natties, baby. Just run Natties. Like, <laughs> why don't we even think about strategy or list building or stuff <laughs> like that? Just run Natties. Because it's fun. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ooh, Ooh come on, this dice box crit. going into Kaz, uh, coming from Kaz mm -hmm. into Anakin. It is obstructed. He's strained. Yep. Only one die. It's essentially going to be an auto evade and it's hit crit. Be the cr crit, which deactivates the play total ability from the Y wing. All right. Now remember, there was two crits in there. The sec, the first crit got turned down to a hit, uh, but the second one does go through. And like uh, mm -hmm. Funwalk just said, turns off that ability. Carcoon. Yep. Three hits takes another one after spending the force on Anakin. <laughs> mm-hmm. And getting Ooh. a little bit low here. Three dice. Sorry, not three dice. Three cards left for uh, for Anakin. Three health. Yep. And no shots left in this round, so oof. So, anything avoiding the kill box, but still getting some serious damage in here. Well, we'll see. I think going onto the cloud, like doing that K turn, made it so that Anakin's going to be able to live an extra turn. I want to see mm -hmm. if he can use it to his advantage. He does have that instinctive aim which will allow him to fire off that proton torpedo almost no matter what next turn if he has somebody yep. at range two to three but uh i would i would expect bryant to get rather aggressive uh with his with his modification choices for anakin because anakin's probably going to die no matter what yeah yes so you want to trade you want to do some serious damage before he dies mm -hmm. but it's getting interesting because wolfie and rick Olay are coming back into the fight like they took a little bit of a break they enjoyed the sightseeing in space, but now they're coming back. <laughs> now I wonder, the uh, the 28% of you guys who bet on Sammy probably feeling pretty good right now, being ahead 21 to 62. Bryant still has mm -hmm. a lot of time, though, to uh, to try to make something happen because he, do he does have Rick, which is a higher initiative, and I think with, uh, with a little bit of patience and some assistance from Wolf, should be able to push through some of these resistance ships. Yeah. So Sami, he's from Finland, from Europe. So all the Finnish people, all the Finnish X-Wing players, say hello in the chat. Now, one of the other things I want to talk about for everybody who is watching live, um, just if you are not part of our Gold Squadron Discord, uh, anybody can join. And if you're a patron, by the way, there are some patron-exclusive rooms, including the Dion's Diary channel Ooh. yeah it's a bit naughty <laughs> <laughs> like private rooms on yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah that's right so uh don't forget <laughs> if you're a if you're a patron go ahead and make sure to connect your your patreon account to discord that way you have access to those rooms and uh, again anybody can be part of our discord conversations submissions for podcasts all that but here we go party mm -hmm. time we're stopping there, doing doing the Covenel thing, expecting yep. Anakin to possibly jump ahead uh, far enough to not shoot Kova. Oh, another and big that's box, a box. Yeah. That's a box. Mm -hmm. Can Anakin jump over all of that? I don't know. But here we go. Uh, we have Rick taking the big turn, Anakin bumping, <laughs> and that yep. stop. Absolutely beautiful. You'll see that Anakin doesn't have a shot on Kova. No strain from the roll. Mm 
All right, Brian, really hoping here to do a little bit of damage with Anakin before he goes poof. Mm hmm. Now, where's the most value? He's got one hull left on Greer, but he could possibly do more damage into someone like Kaz mm -hmm. and get maybe a little bit more value out of there. Yeah, I guess. Especially against Greer with three defense dies and the focus token. That's a hard shot. Very hard shot. Mm -hmm. Everybody's ranged one, so he's choosing Kaz here. Mm hmm. And two. Kaz has three defense as Oof. well because of his ability and was able to push the damage through. There we go. So mm -hmm. got something Pretty before nice. he uh, he hit the grave down the four hole there. Rick's turn. Going into Kova. Uh, just barely out of range one, sadly, for Rick. The All target right. lock. Three hits. And two are going to be going through there. Mm -hmm. First damage on Dakova, down to one shield. I mean, the damage is nice, but uh, Bright is forced to spread out its damage on all the ships on Sami's list. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to see that. You want your focus fire. You want to kill stuff, actually, and not spread out the damage. Two hits coming from Karakun into Rick. That's not going to do anything with all that token stack he's got. We're fine. Mm -hmm. And Kova gets a shot now. But doesn't... Does he have... No much, but still three results. Ooh. That should be plenty. Rip Anakin. So hit crit. Direct hit could kill him. It's structural. structural. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's dead for sure. <laughs> yeah. It's we'll, like we'll put when it rains, it pours. Here we go. Greer taking a shot. Yeah. Spends a focus for three, and that's all he wrote. You were the chosen one. Mm -hmm. He's not on the council anymore. No. Nope. Demoted. Back to <laughs> Jedi Knight. Back to Mustafar with you. <laughs> all right. Tokens are clear, and now 21 to 96. It's a pretty aggressive lead for Sammy with 37 mm -hmm. minutes left on the clock. Yeah, he did no, everything he... right. Like, here's a jousting list. He was just jousting the Republic and just killing ships left and right. I have a question for the people in the chat. Um, if you were part of this list building challenge today, what faction would you bring? Don't tell me. I, I, don't tell me the whole list. What faction would you bring? So the, the, re the restrictions were hyperspace... And you can only bring a single ship of any type. So only one Y-Wing, only one Naboo Starfighter. What would you bring? Let us know in the chat. And then we'll get into more specifics as we uh, as we move along today. I did see mm -hmm. a shout-out earlier. I think Kilgore said, what's up, Dion? How's it going? S no, sorry, Sir Kilgore. I can't forget your official title. <laughs> oh, we have to be serious got, here, right? Like, got, got, got to watch out, man. The royals, sometimes they get a little, you know, mm -hmm. a little feisty. Yeah, yeah, you know, like the British people, they they insist on the titles. going to be important for them. So I'm looking at the list for the next game. It's going to be Rabbits against Scum. All right, so let's see what Scum has in hyperspace. All right, so uh, Lebo24 in the chat says, Dio Morales, how was your birthday? My birthday was great. Birthday was on Thursday. Thank mm -hmm. you for the love. Uh, for oh. those of you guys who gave me have some happy birthdays out there, I appreciate it. Turn 33. How old did you get? 33. 30. Oh, nice. That's like, uh, in Germany, you call it Schnapps style. Like, if you got uh, two of the numbers the same, like 22 and 33. Yeah. It's a special birthday, so, like, very, very special. I loved it. And yes, uh, shout out to uh, <laughs> to Greg from Nickel City and everybody who helped them out with the happy birthday singing video. I got sent a video <laughs> of some ex-wingers singing happy the most awkward and beautiful happy birthday video I have ever been sent. It was great. <laughs> You got all these all these grown men trying to sing happy birthday together on Zoom and then then there's the music teacher just judging them silently in my head. Oh, it was great. <laughs> Love it. Only in the X-Wing community you can get something like that. I love it. Reverse move here from Kova. 
saying, <laughs> Rick, please go in the box. Yeah, another kill box. Like, Sami, he's like bringing one box after one another. Like, how many Take boxes strain. does he have actually in Finland? Like, <laughs> where are all those boxes in real life? So many. Mm hmm. So I will share my favorite gift that I got uh, with you guys during during the next break. I, I I have to procure a courier for for said gift, but we will. And takes the evade All after right. going to three speed, and Rick is is uh is yeah, threatened he's... right now. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of surprised Why that Greer. Then? I was I was expecting that move. I I'm kind of surprised that Greer didn't uh, turn the arc to the mm -hmm. back. But you know what? At least uh, Sammy's not taking shots. Here we go. Range one. Oof. Use the target lock. Only ends up with hit crit. Mm. But all blanks finally. It's time. Boom boom. There's a heroic trigger for Kaz and One takes evade. a blinded pilot. All right. Here's Wolf. All right. That shot was not obstructed yet, yet. like the, no, the game said, that shot was not obstructed. Mm -hmm. So no extra dice, no gas cloud evade. All right, and oh. here's Wolf going downtown into Kara. Mm -hmm. She is the most damaged. Hit crit. Roll. Nice. Nice. Oh, There it is. Heroic again. Heroic, though. Got one. Shields are down. Right, heroic, not too bad this game. Like two triggers and one evade each. There's actually a really interesting article uh, we'll talk about in a little bit, talking about heroic, uh, written by Bohan, the winner of, mm -hmm. of Corellia, about heroic. And spends. Yeah, taking one damage. That's one on to Rick. For shield there. Next shot. Downtown going at Wolf. Only one crit and Wolf is fine. Shrugs it off. Nice. So the question in the chat was, why did Kaz roll three dice? He actually, um, was, if it was not obstructed, he would have had two plus three. Was he strained? He was. Uh, 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 the chat. Help us. He rolled an eyeball on the gas cloud, so he was strained, actually. Or should have was. been strained. I know his Kara Kara was was for sure strained. Yeah, Kara's kind, but um, after that, Cass was moving, landed on the gas cloud, and he rolled one dice, mm -hmm. got an eye. So, I think he forgot his train here, Sami. Na 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 na. So yeah, so it would have been plus one minus one if it was if the shot was obstructed. Um, mm -hmm. if the shot was obstructed, which I'm assuming it it, it was, that's the, that would be the reason why. Ricole. I don't think it was. I think just they forgot the strain, right? Like the shot was not obstructed. I see it correctly. Yes. It's obstructed. No, it's, it's obstructed. It? it was obstructed at range one. Ah, it's obstructed. All right. Okay. Then, yeah. Okay. So then that, it's okay. That, that explains strain, it. So plus, plus one, minus one. Plus exactly. Plus mm -hmm. one for his ability. Minus one for the strain. Ah. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. Got it now. And if you forgot the gas fine. cloud effect, fine. that is a May ability. I'm not sure if you guys knew that. Oh, it's a, it's a May. Mm -hmm. We got it, Chad. Professional Damn streamers. It. No worries. <laughs> 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 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna st you know it's serious now, phone walk, because I'm I've m moving the desk into the standing position. Oh no, not the standing position, this, John. That's right. This machine is fully yeah, this operational. Game is, this game is still very open because, like, now Rick Olay can do his Rick Olay Aces link. He mm -hmm. got away from the kill box. And could be that Netta or Sami is running out of boxes, maybe. He might not have a box, but he definitely has some positioning to to get uh, mm -hmm. get some plays on the wolf in the next couple of turns. You can bring yeah. Greer and Kara up into the right a little bit. Cash should be able to zoom out of there without hitting. Yes, the cloud yeah. is not between the nubs. Kara can do a little uh, her impression of a truck. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Back up a little <laughs> bit. And uh, it might have another box set up here pretty soon. Another box, come on! How many can we get? Give me a box, Sammy. I need three boxes in a row. <laughs> Give me the box? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... I think I agree, like, Wolfie has, like, he cannot run away. It's like a big medium base arc. So mm -hmm. he's pretty much just jousting the resistance list here. And this is, like, the, the, the problem for Bryant here. He... Got some good damage into the resistance list, but it was all spread out. Like three shields on Kara, two shields on Kova, some damage on Greer and on Kaas. Like all these damage could have been put into one ship, actually, and you could have killed Kaas maybe or Kova. All right. Now, some people were asking about uh, my music submission earlier. So I had an exciting opportunity. Uh, and I, now it's just kind of in limbo. Got to wait. Um, exciting opportunity. Uh, a, a music publisher, um, a music a music education music publisher, um, approached me about submitting some music uh, for consideration because they're having their uh, 2021 panel discussions this uh, upcoming week. And they said, Dion uh, and, and Devin, also my wife, we want we want this we want these pieces from you. Um, we heard basically we took some class over the summer, and our arranging teacher was impressed with us. Passed mm -hmm. on some words, and uh, and they were like, "Send us these songs and anything else you got." And we were like, "Oh crap, <laughs> this is kind of a big deal." <laughs> They're also like, "Yeah, you have a week," and I'm like, "Oh no." <laughs> so we were frantically getting that ready, and I had a composition that was like on the edge of being done that I was also considering submitting. So that that ended up getting submitted. Um, excited and terrified at the same time. And Man, so there's, Dion, there's doesn't mean that you, doesn't mean that you are getting famous soon. Nah. Even more famous? N even more. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so here 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 is what I'm looking forward to. So if if my my composition gets gets published, I'll buy copies and we can, can do giveaways <laughs> for, for my piece. Like look, it's official, man. I think I would love that, right? Like like uh, official Dion music. Like That's um, right. a CD, like a signed CD, maybe. That yeah. Quite nice. Good way. So here, here, here's like my extended plan. Okay, if they really mm -hmm. like these, this piece, I have some more in the works. Um, that maybe I can get like a couple pieces um, composed uh, or published. So a couple of my compositions compo uh, published, and I can start slipping in like X-wing uh, like phrases <laughs> into the titles, right? Like, mm -hmm. so, like real subtle. Real subtle, so that like we know, but nobody else knows. Yes, this would be super cool. And uh, oh, do you know what I actually really love about uh, the Galaxy qualifiers? Like every time in the finals, we have like a new song from Paul. Mhm. Mm and this is this is so awesome. Like I really love the the parody music he made about the mm -hmm. Texas and <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, so okay. We got I'm a hoping bump action here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wolfie going a little bit fast, but he hopes for some blocks, right? Like, he tries to avoid the box. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be in the box. All right, Karakun, moving away. Oh, she could do the Karakun boost now. Do it. Finally. Do it now. Do it. Sami, listen to us. Sami, do. I believe in you. Do the stream sniping. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, trying to get the one heart here. <laughs> Maui Mike Beard, 100%. My next, my next piece is labeled heroic. You actually totally got it. 
<laughs> Dang it. Stop it. Get out of my head. Stop it. Leaks. Uh, there it is. All the leaks. <laughs> Kara Kuhn. Mike, not bad. Not bad. Mike, also a part of the Hexide community. Oh, man. All right. A red move here. Which made, uh, which Kova or Leia actually made white, so he can do an action now. Has the blinded pilot as crit? This looks like slam. Yeah, doing it. Sammy slamming away. Did he quite get? Did he get the arc dodge? Is he just out, or is he just barely in? That's gonna be close, and we'll see it measured here in a little bit. Kova I cannot see it because the to the left. Token is just <laughs> How dare right he put the stress token on the right yeah. on the arc? Yeah. Oh, and a very nice bump here on the A wing. So Wolfie is safe actually. And Ricole, telling Rod. That's right. Hit, hitting the gas was the right call there on Wolf to avoid taking some damage, mm -hmm. and he's going to be able to get a nice shot into at least Kova, maybe into Kaz. Yeah, Kaz would be amazing, but. You take also the Kova shot. Dramaka asking, how are you going to work choose violence into them? I probably won't be able to. <laughs> that one's probably yeah. off the table. Oh, yeah. man. Like, like, we know the joke, right? But oh, a little bit iffy and public. Just average. All right, got the evade. Ooh, first time caller. Very nice. Choose violence. As violence. <laughs> All right, one hit. Oh, man. Bryant not lucky on his roads here. Yeah. Mm-mm. I will tell you, the uh, in the music education publishing business, uh, titles matter a lot because <laughs> because of our our mentality, right? Our just the, we we like titles even if we don't know what it sounds like. Oh, look, look at that's a cool title. I will I will mm -hmm. consider listening to that one, so I'll consider if I want to buy it. So like my my the piece I submitted has a pretty cool title. I don't want to spoil it yet because if it does get picked up. Um, then it enters like a confidentiality clause, and there's all this legal mumble jumble. But <laughs> well, it's not X-wing related at all. Actually, it's uh, dedicated to uh, a student of mine who uh, who passed away uh, last school year. But um, right. yeah, love that kid. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I just totally brought down the mood. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> no, no worries, but I, I love it. I love it. Like this is like a very good. Like dedication, right? For someone mm -hmm. you care about. Yep. Ah. <sighs> anyway, um, we are looking at this stuff. Side slipping mm -hmm. means something in music, doesn't it? N n no. <laughs> no, but it <laughs> will mean something for X Wing very soon, and I'm so That's excited right. for the new way. Like, poof, finally getting something new and and actually buying stuff. <laughs> Can't wait for it. All right, one bank takes a focus. Wolf charging up the butt gun. Butt gun. And Greer so, rotating because that's what Greer mm -hmm. do. Yeah. My personal opinion, Greer is the best A wing in the resistance. Zizi got nothing on Greer. <laughs> Look at my three actions a turn. I mean, actions are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Dion, at Datomir in the last Galaxy Qualifier in London, mm -hmm. that was like a very insane stat for resistance, and I'm still like amazed by it. So, in the whole tournament, there were 18 resistance players, and 17 brought ZZ to the tournament. Yeah. Like, like what? Come on, resistance players. Like, you're more creative than that. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not at all. <laughs> all right. Not at Takes all. a strain. Like... Takes mm. a strain. <laughs> oh, and Karakun doing something very strange here. <laughs> all right, yeah. Trying Gonna to be taking a bump. Uh huh. 
Is Sami getting tilted here a little bit because he ran out of boxes? He ran out of boxes. I think he may have been considering originally when setting up dials a, a boost from Greer. But mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna it's gonna gonna pay a little bit. But it's all right, Kaz. Getting a talent roll as well. We'll have a shot. Mm -hmm. Somebody yes, asking, uh, is the white is our host from... German? Yes. Our, yes, our friend Farmak is super German. Like, yes. he's the most German German I know. Mm -hmm. So, how many <laughs> Germans do you know? <laughs> uh, um, uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, T Timo Herzl and Timo Rabe. And right, oh man, oh man, the rest <laughs> of the the rest of their team is going to be really mad at me. I can see their faces. Uh, the Christ, one of their names starts with a K. It kind of sounds like the guy from Harry Potter. I'm forgetting. All right, here we go. Three hits. <laughs> Easy three hits. And all right, only rolls one of eight. That's going to be two more damage into Kara, and we're officially at half. Nice. Crump, crump. Is that In Kai group? Yeah, there uh, you go. Yeah, Kai. Yeah, Kai. Kai is amazing. He's like, uh, I love Kai. And he won the European Championship last year. Yeah. Yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. Three hits. Hot fire from Kaz. Pew, pew, mm -hmm. pew. The dice box is working. Two ah. hits. <laughs> and here we go. Greer keeping, keeping the pressure on. Spend the focus says, you know what? We're trying to do damage here. Got a crit, but not going to matter the fact that it's a crit because it's just a shield. Yeah, but still, shield's down. And now Kova's shooting. And two Man, hits. Pretty hot dice here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And that's half points. 71 to 121. Oof. Now, I want to remind you guys oh, okay. that you can use the command exclamation point quat, K-U-A-T, to get the link to the uh, the website, and that's quatprintyards.com, and use that coupon code FLIGHTCLUB2020 for 10% off. Thank you to them for our being our sponsor, and uh, we're going to show off some of their awesome, man, I really, I really do love their... Uh, their dial covers. They they they're my favorite that I've come across so far. And we got we got a bunch of them here. Eh. Oh no. So I lost can them. I do a little shout out here, Dion? No. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Like uh we are talking about uh, the German players uh in the last round. Mm -hmm. And I'm working with uh, another German content creator, uh Daniel from X Wing mm -hmm. SHG. Yeah. Big streamer and we are doing something very funny. We are doing Beat the Rabe. It's called a Twitch show. Where yeah. you can play against Timo Rabe, the UK SOS champion. And if you can manage to win a game against him, you can win some prizes from us. But if you lose the game, all these prizes, we get back into a pool. So usually, like, Timo is winning quite a lot, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, which means that, like, after each week, like, we got a lot of prizes into the pool. And, like, after, like, three or four games, the lucky winner can get something really big and uh, for our second season we are going international so for the first season it's only for germans we cast it in german but now we're casting in english and the first episode will be on the 24th on thursday in two weeks so if people want to play against team rabe want to win some prizes just look at the discord channels at twitch at facebook we will do a little bit of advertising and you guys can have a chance to win something big. Uh, Fan right. Kiyoshi asking about what's the minimum for the, the Quat Print Yards code. There is no minimum. Nice. All right, here we go. So you can even just get one. <clears throat> GSP helmet dial covers win? Question mark. <laughs> no, no pressure, Brian. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah, actually, he's going to be uh, casting with me in the third round. Should guys, should I try to get him to to make some uh, GSP helmet dial covers? What do you guys think? Yeah, like, of course, right? Like, that's not <laughs> even a question. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Mm -hmm. So Brian's turning in, going for the joust and jousty joust. Wolf's just try, trying to do the work. He does have Rick Olay available um, as an mm -hmm. ally out there. Hasn't evade right now. 
But it is time. It is time for engagement. Yeah, like that's a little box here for an Sami, right? Like a cast and a, a <laughs> cobra box. Uh, <laughs> Rick is bo actually boosting, getting closer to cast here, getting out of Kova's arc. So I like it. Like it's a little bit safer, just getting one shot. And here's range on Karakun, who only has two health. So pretty neat move. Ah, but he wishes he had a focus token. <laughs> All right. Easy dodge. And two hits coming in. Mm -hmm. Just one shield on Kova. Ooh. She's not getting down. And four dice coming in from Kaz. Oh, he was shooting into Wolf. Yep. He got Ark and Wolfie. High breach. Oh, oh okay. Taking too much. two more down to two. Yeah, whole, whole breach when you have two left. Yeah. Yeah, but the X-Wing and the A-Wing are coming back in now in the next round. So that's properly a dead Wolfie very soon. All right, Kova. I'm just double checking health yeah, here. It Kova hurts very much that, like, right? He could do some. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Kova shields down. Cast. Um, the big problem now here is like, right? He could do some actual damage on to Sami's ships, but it was, was all spread out. And now it's like looking like a four versus one very soon. Like for Sam Degria, she's running on one half for like forever, right? For since the start of the game. And this is gonna sadly bite grind in the rear a little bit. The good thing for Brian here, Ricolet can go fast and try to hunt Karakun and Korea. Maybe hoping for an initiative kill. And we got that two turn, hoping to catch, like you said, catch some Greer. Ooh, but Greer, Greer can get out of that. Mm hmm. Where are you going, Greer? <laughs> Netta reading his card, like, what is Greer actually doing? <laughs> <laughs> he can barrel roll boost. There you go. Yeah, and the boost looks very juicy right now. Mm -hmm. There it is. That's an arc dodge. That's mm -hmm. how you do it, folks. Remember, those A-wings, they can only ever barrel roll first and then boost. That's the same for the RZ-1, the yep. sadder, uh, worse brother of the I RZ wanted to say that. Like, like, <laughs> the rebel A-wings like are so super sad if you compare them to the resistance. I think they'll get a back arc card eventually. It has to happen. It's mm -hmm. in canon. Come on, FFG. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. I guess so, right? Like... Give them the little turret, make them a little bit happier. And we have that talent roll from Kaz, trying to scoot up into range one. Kova taking the one mm. left turn, activates the yep. ability, uses Leia to make it so that it is a white turn, but still red, able to get that additional die for the uh, turret. And Netta was looking into his closet and he found another box here. And I guess this box is going to put Wolfie back into hyperspace. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. Hit, hit, crit. Nice. This is from Rick going into Kara from downtown looking for some natties. And he got oh, enough. Got enough. Is taking one crit. Has only two health left. And oh, the car damage there. Engine. Damage engine. Yeah. Brian, not lucky enough here. He's trying, but it's not enough. Here we go. Back arc shot, possibly from Wolf. We'll see where he wants to go. Yeah, but his charge is active, so no extra dice on the back. Shooting He's going to go ahead and shoot at Kara. Use the charge. 
gets the re-roll, spends the focus. He wants to make sure that A wing, excuse me, that X wing gets off the table and does overkilled. Finally, finally. All right, Bryant starting to close the gap, 97 to 121. Now they are both initiative four, so Kara does get to do some damage possibly before heading to the grave, and nope. not today. <laughs> That's not. And did we see a boost, like one boost, right, from Kara? Mm-hmm. That's a bit sad. I wanted to see more. Come on, Sami. <laughs> We got range two here coming from Greer. Oh, oh blank oh, heroic. Out. heroic. No focus, <sighs> but still pushes one through. Wolf, that, that is a crit, by the way. Uh -huh. Weapons. Oof. But we might it's get not a game of X Wing if you can pull weapons. <laughs> there he Safe. is. Safe. He's gonna get out. Is he gonna get out? Cass gets to gets to be the one who decides here. Yeah, range two. Oh hit, no! 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 Crit. <laughs> <laughs> that is it for Wolf. Now yeah. it is Rick yeah. versus the world. Uh, Rick is back up to full health, by the way, because of regen. Yeah. Oof. Oh no. So. Let's look at our options here. Uh, nine minutes left on the game. That mm -hmm. should be enough time for a couple of rounds. Greer on one. That's like a very obvious target to snack away for Rigolay. Yep, that would give... Let's see. So, you, so right now, Bryant needs 50 points to be in the lead. 50 points to yep. be in the lead, 49 to tie it up. So getting Greer would get uh, an additional 20 points, with them, which would leave him uh, 30 short where do you mm -hmm. get your 30 points at you could get it and half of kova won't do it because that's only 29 mm. uh there's not a half way to do it i guess yeah there's not a you got to kill another ship so All finish right. greer and kill kaz i don't know that's that's not enough right kaz is like oregon half points is he yeah he is and that's additional 20 24 points 23 points Uh, President Bauer in the chat saying, TTS has improved much since I left. Thank God you don't have to place templates down anymore. Guess it's time to reinstall. Yes, it has come a long way. Join the train. Uh, the, by the, the development team, absolutely amazing job. Absolutely, yes. they, have ju they, they just kill it every time. Yep. So let's do some shout outs. Like, we know Crazy Vulcan is like in the chat. He's one of the devs. We have Flipstar from Norway in the. Mm -hmm. Dev team, we have uh, Johnny Cheese, like the owner of the mod. He's from Brazil, and yeah. I love it. Like this is like a super international group, who's everybody's just working on X Wing to make us more happy, to get us out of the lockdown, um, of the boring lockdown time, and it's super amazing. Like TTS X Wing is like my second home right now, and I love yeah. it so much. That's right. It came. The, the greatest. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I know that the devs are saying like they don't want a Patreon or some donation money. They don't need the money. They just want people to enjoy the game as much as possible. And I like this is so amazing. It's like, 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 what they are giving us. Like this is so great. So I'm very, very happy that we have them. Amen. All right, here we go. Rick was able to get around that cloud. Mhm. Mm Bam. Roll. Just average. Just one. Oh, wrong dice. No. Wrong <laughs> dice. <laughs> we, need, we need better dice now. Let's get the netty dice. <laughs> I'm confused. Shooting into gas. And safe. Mm hmm. Imagine you're playing game in real life and like, oh, those are the wrong dice, I need the better dice, the netty dice now. Heroic. Oof, that was a great heroic. All ball. right. One crit. Takes a shield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, two and two, safe. Okay.
Kova trying to get the shot here. Hit crit. Got an evade. Second shield down. Rick doesn't have any more regen, so those shields are permanently gone. We're back to Zyles. By the way, Crazy Vulcan, uh, one of the dev devs wants me to read a statement here. says, thank you all for your love, but we don't take money for... Uh, we don't take money, period. For one, it's a project that has had many, many hands over the years uh, of work, and there is no fair way to split it. Uh, and also, we don't want to risk the mod aside uh, when money mm -hmm. gets involved as well. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, yeah, just hat. basically, you know how you thank them? Just keep playing. <laughs> just keep mm -hmm. playing. And I know some people have asked me, uh, Dion, when things return to normal, since, you know, I'm, I'm most known for traveling the world and bringing you guys those in-person premiere <laughs> X-Wing events. Um, and TTS is, really, is like, we've, we've done Vassal. We looked at TTS very early on, but it wasn't in a place where I... I thought it was conducive for, for timely play, but it has gotten there, especially recently, to so many amazing uh, updates and all the things that have happened. It's just been absolutely amazing. But TTS play on Gold Squadron is not going anywhere. It is, as long as it exists, it is a permanent uh, fixture here on the channel. So shout out mm -hmm. to the dev team because they, they, have, they have really, um, the same thing, you know, for, for Vassal. Like, it has these amazing projects, these passion projects for, these people who just make this amazing uh, content for us is just it's great so just shout out to them yeah and, and yeah and don't go up don't go at an event and uh, and ask to uh, ask directly about online play just just shut up about it yeah. i'll just be very, very frank about it just shut up about it <laughs> the, first, the first rule of flight club is don't talk about flight club right <laughs> no, not to ffg you can talk about not to FFG. <laughs> like the first person who goes to an ffg and talks about online play he's getting so slapped by us eh? <laughs> yeah there you go I, Ma maui I, I liked what he said here he said, hashtag shut up and play that's right <laughs> yeah absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> all right rick here doing that mm -hmm. three straight takes an evade yeah, but he's we'll getting shot get at. That extra it's die. another box. It's another box, Dion. Like, how many boxes can we have in one game? I cannot believe it. <laughs> Just look at this. I mean, this is eighth Ooh, day. The... So yeah. th I, I expect nothing else. <laughs> range one, he will have an additional die there. Four total at range one. Yep. Hadouken, hit, hit, crit. Nice. Good reference. <laughs> and no evades rolled there, taking them all. Mm -hmm. Hit. Hit. It's a start, like point Markova. Structural. There we go. And the structural damage will will end up mattering. Here we go, Greer. Blank oh, heroic. heroic. What? Got it. Safe. So what I also very much like about online players, like you can play with people from all over the world. Like I was participating in a couple of GSP events, mm -hmm. and on my list now I have played against people from Iceland, from Singapore, from Malaysia, from Australia, from Norway, from Sweden, from England, from France, from Poland. Like mm -hmm. this is so amazing. Like I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, it, it has been it has been a great way, and. <laughs> the other thing with with so there's lots of reasons why I throw the events, but one of my favorite things about it is last summer on my world tour, like you know that the other side of the planet exists, but you really don't <laughs> yeah. know you really don't know that it exists until you have an experience <laughs> with the other side of the world. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. Like Mm -hmm. My my life absolutely changed because of that world tour. Absolutely changed, nice. just for the fact of of see of of realizing I was on the opposite side of of Earth and interacting with people mm -hmm. who uh, who who was part of the same community as I was. And the TTS events that we're doing here at Gold Squadron, like that is part of my mission is just to create bonds across the world. And um, you know, we we are all part of that same X Wing family. Yeah. So nice. All right, another hit, another crit crit from Rigolet. Crit crit gets crit, one. Crit. Only one evade. I'll breach a little bit too late. 
And with 25 seconds left, I think we probably get one more turn. Kova, roll the dice. Yeah, roll faster. Roll faster. Not the dice box, the dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hit, Maybe hit you don't get a turn. Oh, no, we don't get a turn. <laughs> Boom. No, never mind. No more turns for you, Rick. Yeah. He gone. And that, GG. That and is the Sammy ball brings game. it home to <laughs> Finland against all odds. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations to Sammy winning 126 to 200. Absolutely fantastic game. Thank you to the players for players uh, for playing and fun walk. Thank you for joining me this game.